Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to talk about thermostat housings. Let's take a look at this. This is a 1977 through 1980 MGB. In fact, I think this was a 77. So the thermostat housing used to be here. Now it was a relatively simple, simple task. You know, the car wasn't getting hot enough and I suspected there was no thermostat in here. There wasn't. And so he said, well, let's take the thermostat housing off and put a thermostat in. I mean, how simple is that? Well, first of all, the steel studs corroded against the aluminum housing. So when Matt tried to take it out, I don't know if you can see here, but the top, the top of the stud snapped off. Oops, don't want to have that happen, right? Anyway, once that had snapped off and he called for help, then we had to come over and separate, first of all, separate the aluminum housing from the steel studs. Now, to separate similar metals, you heat the system up, and while it's hot, undo something. Like if you're getting studs out of a manifold. But when you're separating dissimilar metals, it's necessary to quench, not to heat. Well, help me out, you can't quench without heating first. So we took our torch, we, we warmed this up as, as hot as we dared get it. In fact, if you take a look here, you can see that the aluminum was just starting to melt right in here. Then, once it was nice and hot, we had a bucket of water and we poured it on it. I mean, we quenched that thing. We, we, we drew, drew the temperature down really quickly. And since the rate of expansion of both metals is different, one metal pulls away from the other. Once we did that to all the studs, then we could get a, a uh, knife blade underneath here, finding some screwdrivers, and levered the guy up. Once he came off, then we had to get this out of here. Now, this is similar metals, steel and, steel and cast iron, close enough. So here, we had to heat this up. We got it very nearly cherry hot, put a pair of vice grips on it, and kept wiggling it until you could feel that it, could, it actually was turning. It wasn't just twisting, it was turning, and then walked it out, so forth. So now, we've got two studs in here. We got this guy out, we'll have a new stud. We'll put a thermostat in there in a gasket, and then we'll go to put the housing on. Oops, too thin. This housing won't make it. So we had to order a new housing. You can see the, the, the difference in, in thicknesses. So something as simple as changing the thermostat, which I don't know, the old flat rate books probably gave you 0.18 hours, is easily 1.8 hours, if not double that, depending on, on uh, how many problems you run into. So today's lesson is about separating dissimilar metals by quenching, separating similar metals by heating, and by being cautious and working carefully and not twisting stuff off. There's no such thing as an easy out. If you snap something off really, you gotta drill it and rethread it, and that takes a long time. Don't snap anything off. Go cautiously. Hey, I'm going to be in Altoona, Pennsylvania the weekend after Labor Day. I've got a seminar. I was talking to one of the guys there uh, just the other day. He said they got 21 people signed up for, for the seminar. And following that on Friday, uh, on, excuse me, on Saturday and Sunday is their car show. So I'll, I'll be there those several days. Look forward to seeing anybody who can make it to Altoona for the uh, Central Pennsylvania uh, uh, British Car Show. So, till next week, see you later.